Hi, I'm Yuppie. Welcome back to my net worth update videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about t September 2017. I apparently have a recording for this as well. Um, okay, so I think at this point everything is still going well, you know. Um, I Although my girlfriend still hasn't arrived in Australia. So originally I, I went to Australia to meet up with my girlfriend there. But she hasn't arrived yet and I'm like starting to get worried. Like, why is this happening? Um, and I'm also starting to chat with my colleagues about uh, potentially making a startup because uh, we all realize that, you know, software jobs are, you know, good for money, but they won't make you rich. At least like if you're not working for a fang like Google or Apple or Microsoft, they're not going to make you rich. Uh, anyway, what I had in cash was like $21. Um, on a checking account, I got like $457.39. And on the Commonwealth, I had $681. So all of these are uh, draining down because uh, I'm starting to have expenses. And I think at this point I hadn't, or maybe I received one paycheck. I'm not sure. Um, uh, unfortunately, I didn't track my income at the time, so we cannot check, go back and check that. Um, I, I do remember that I sent over most of my money. I don't know why I did this. This is such a stupid idea to do. But I sent over most of my money to Australia. I, I mean, okay, I remember why I did this. I, I saw the difference in interest rates and I realized that in Australia, you get a lot more interest for your money. So I was essentially a Forex trader doing it in the worst way possible because I used bank transfers and I paid a lot of fees on this. <laughs> and yeah, we'll talk more about that later. Anyway, the stocks, I, fortunately, I kept the stocks uh, in the brokerage account. I didn't touch that, which is good. Um, yeah. And then uh, I put another asset on here, which is the rental bond. Uh, apparently, I started renting a place, so I'm increasing my liabilities. However, uh, I think this, so. The student debts they remain the same. Actually, it's the same nominal value. However, the uh, Australian dollar uh, fluctuated in comparison to euro, and these debts are dominated denominated in euros. So uh, they may go up and down a little bit, uh, but they're not. They're not like changing in nominal value, it's just like the ch change in exchange rate. Uh, and I apparently also found the wonders of a credit card. So I started using that. And yeah, as we can see, my net worth hadn't changed a lot at all. Uh, my liabilities increased, but my assets also increased. Um, yeah, so apparently I was working for nothing for a month. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is why you track it, right?